Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of my Nuclear Thrones Let's Play. Today we're going to be moving down the list again and we're going to be playing as, in my opinion, the most annoying character. His name is The Melting. He starts out with only 2 health and he does earn more experience, but, his spe but the less health, honestly, he dies on one shot from just about anything. His active ability is Explosive Revenge, which allows me to blow up corpses when I activate it. It does pretty considerable damage, but honestly, I'm not sure if it makes up for the horrible amount of health. With him, the most important thing in my opinion is getting Rhino Skin and Throne Butt. With Rhino Skin and Throne Butt, you can pretty much win the game. Pretty, well, or at least come close. You'll have a chance at winning the game. I mean, I'm not actually certain how many people have won the game, so you can tell this is a fairly difficult game. Uh, this early crossbow is very useful, actually. Uh, it will allow me to take on the first boss fairly easily, as well as keep me from having way too many problems, honestly, during these first few levels. Plus, I managed to... Oh wait, I'll right-click to show... to showcase that? Okay. So we picked up a decent amount of ammo there at the end, and sadly we didn't level up even though he does get extra experience, so that's kind of sad, but there you can see me using his ability to try to kill off as many enemies as I can. Okay, so the scary thing about these bullets that are being shot at me is the fact that I believe they'll actually kill me in one hit. So I'm having to be incredibly careful here. Okay, so so far I seem to be relatively safe. I'm not sure if I want to take the laser pistol. The all the weapons I have so far are very useful. Um, here I'm definitely going to take throne, but the larger explosions actually helps out a lot. And since I leveled up twice, I am going to have a chance for something else. Um, the interesting thing about stress is actually the way that it works. It doesn't matter that I have less health or anything like that, and it isn't a percentage of your health. It's for each health point you miss, you get a fixed amount of fire rate. But since I have only two health, it's relatively useless to me. Bloodlust would also be useless. Um, if I get touched by someone, I'm pretty much going to die anyway, so impact risks is honestly all that's left for me to choose. I wouldn't say that it's a bad item, though. As you can see, the explosions are much larger now. I want to get out of this confined area now, though, so that the bandit leader doesn't wind up uh, carrying me. That would be Okay, so I appear to have killed him. I think I missed out on a little bit of experience that was sitting up here, but honestly, the fact that I've made it this far with this character makes it totally worth it to me. This is honestly... I mean, he's one of my more favorite characters to use, but he's also one of the most terrifying. I, you never really know when you're just going to lose on the first level. Okay. Uh, I seem to have gotten through there alright. I think I have all of the items I'd like. And here we go, we've gotten up to probably the most useful item that we're going to f a perk that we'll find, which will be Rhino Skin. Now we're actually almost at the other character's base, up, so I think that should help out a lot. Um, all of these items are relatively good, but there's not really any that I would prefer to the setup that I have now, which is kind of sad. I mean, I guess it's good that I managed to get such a good setup so early, but... It'd be nice if I could get something better. You know? Um, one thing I really like about this character is the fact that he does cause me to play a lot more carefully. 
And I especially love throwing that when you get thrown bubble gun. Okay, um, so that went fairly well. I'm still not really finding any other weapons that I would like to have, but the extra experience is definitely helping right now. Um, I'm definitely going to stick with this assault rifle just because of the fire rate that it allows me. And thanks to the stronger explosives, I can explosions, I can actually do some damage now. Um, I think this might be the level that has the secret room on it, so I'm gonna look around for that really quickly because I believe that there is a grenade launcher around here somewhere. Um, it might not be though. Also, at the same time, I'm looking for the last enemy because they appear to be hiding from me. Here we go. Looks like there was a lower area. Okay, so... Out of all the items here, I think I have the ones that I want. Yeah, I hardly have any ammo for that. And the triple machine gun's awful. So I'm just going to stick with this and... Let's see what kind of perks we can get here. Um... Honestly, eagle eyes don't help. I have two very accurate weapons. I still don't really like bloodlust that much. I think I'm going to have to go with Euphoria. I think it's the lesser of four evils, honestly, so I'm going to go with that. Hopefully it'll help me block a few bullets somewhere. Okay. Uh, so far everything seems to be going okay. Uh, This guy is terrifying me, though. Um, yeah, honestly, he's the only one that I don't really know how to deal with. There it goes. These corner shots are really all that I have to rely on here. Okay, I really hate that I'm having to use such a powerful weapon against pretty much every one I fight right now. Um, I'm going to try to leave this car alive in case I manage to find a screwdriver, but honestly I'm so terrified right now I'm dying that I'm probably not going to have a chance with it. This is actually surprisingly one of those successful runs I've had with a character that normally doesn't work out very well for me. In fact, I might do so well here that, uh... Okay, um, so I didn't manage to find anything there. The splinter gun is an interesting weapon because it's pretty much the crossbow, but it's a shotgun instead. I think I'm actually going to take it just because, honestly, I think it's a little bit more interesting than the, uh, crossbow. It might do less damage, it might do more, I'm not actually certain. Um, but either way, it will be pretty good. Oh, it actually appears to do pretty good damage. So. Um, I need to get out here quick. Because there is a lot of damage. Okay, this is actually my first time managing to get to the throne room. Now, the throne room is interesting in that... In here, we get to find a throne. Uh, not the throne room. I always say that wrong. <laughs> this is the crown room. And in here, there is a crown which I can pick up. When you pick up a crown, it allows cursed weapons to spawn, which are weapons that you can't actually drop, as well as it introduces certain. Um, it introduces normally a buff, which also has some kind of weakness attached to it. So let's see what the current crowns which are available are. Um, the crown of explosions, which gives bigger explosions, might actually... I wonder if that works with my character, because if so, that would probably be pretty amazing. Um, don't know what the crown of death does. Um... I personally am I am going to go with the crown of explosions just because I'm 
hoping that that will help out with my, my right click ability. Okay, well, looks like he uh, hit me for a homer. Well, I think I'm going to try one more run on this, and then we're going. To, I'm going to head out, and I think I'm going to go eat some dinner. Going out to a new sports bar nearby, so that should be fun. I just realized I haven't really introduced myself at all. I've just kind of been playing games, so uh, just to introduce myself a little bit. My name is James. I work at a local thing at the moment. I just recently graduated high school, though, so it's just kind of a summer job. They might keep me around if they like me, but the, there's no telling with it, honestly. It's a pretty good gig, though. I like it. Uh, I have a girlfriend. She's pretty awesome. I have dated her for about a year and a half. I'm actually at her house right now, house-sitting. That's actually pretty much the, the whole reason behind the single adventure. Um, let's see what comes in here. I think I'm definitely going to switch that out for the slugger. Just because the slugger is so interesting. Um, yeah, I, there's quite a few other games that I actually play. But, I'm not sure which I should post on here. I might put some... I played quite a bit of Playday 2 with an old friend of mine. And so I might post that, but honestly... I feel like it'd be better suited for live streaming, which isn't something that I'm necessarily interested in. Um, other than that, I think I'm just going to keep trying what I do, and hopefully people will start watching, and people will, will start telling me what I'm doing wrong, so that I can try to get better. I'm really liking this character. His uh, incredibly low amount of health is making this very tense and interesting. It's kind of exciting and everything. Ooh, okay. Well, as I said, this is going to be the last one that I played through. Uh, I think I'll introduce myself a little bit more thoroughly in the next playthrough that I do. But until next time, I'll see y'all later, and if you liked my content, then subscribe, or if you don't feel like subscribing, just comment and tell me what you like about it. If you don't like it, then just tell me what you hate about it. Be nice, though, please. I like constructive criticism, not douchebags. Till next time, bye.